Good afternoon. This is Unstable Sanity. I'm trying to speak to you loud and clear because I had an unspecified individual state that you should really mute my video. So, therefore, I am speaking louder, clearer, and hopefully y'all can hear me. Last time, I went through and uh, reviewed the Battle Damage T800 Art Mask by Pure Arts. Awesome piece. The only complaint I really had at the time was it did not include a power adapter. So, I had a viewer suggest, I believe his name was Simulator8108, to purchase a Lenink battery eliminator. Looked at this very thoroughly online, checked out several reviews, um, found that people were, some people were having issues with it. Um, a lot of which were regarding volts. People would purchase, say, the AA four pack and only use, say, three of those batteries in the device they wanted to power. But when doing so, they probably didn't realize that the transformer in this adapter states it is six volts. Three batteries. One battery is about, what, 1.5, 1.6 volts. So you're actually looking at, if you're using three of them, 4.5 volts. So they need to use the appropriate power supply. <clears throat> Which is why I end up getting two of these bad boys. Sadly, I'm a huge fan of the black cable over the white cable. So <clears throat> when purchasing these, they did not have the AA three pack available to power this beast. So therefore I had to purchase the four pack to at least get AA dummy batteries. And then I had to purchase the triple A battery pack that contains three because the adapter will do 4.5 volts whereas this one does six so essentially I needed the adapter from this but the batteries from this so I kind of just splurged a little bit I think these are about 15 bucks a piece not a bad price you can get the one that uh, you can actually change the volts the output um, I think that was about 25 I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was. <clears throat> so I actually spent a little bit more than that, but I do have more dummies and an extra adapter now. So I'm going to go through and unbox one of those for you and let you see what it all contains. If I can get it open. <clears throat> Shit. Whoops. Anyway. So you end up with the dummy battery that has an adapter that will go into the one uh, into the adapter that plugs into the wall you then also get a us power adapter and then two dummy AAA batteries because this is the three pack some lovely artistic in full color, oh my gosh, um, instructions. Essentially, how to choose four, du what? four dummies, two dummies? All the dummies. Okay. So, essentially, just goes through how to use it. Um, on the back side, it shows... Hold on. It says, battery eliminator. No need to buy or replace batteries anymore. With Lennox Customized Battery Eliminator, Power Adapter and Dummy Battery, just put the adapter in a standard battery compartment of your device. Then plug the other end to a standard wall outlet. The device will get its power through a flat cable. Ooh. Please do not charge this battery eliminator. It is... It, but it's not rechargeable. So yes, therefore, do not uh, assume that these will actually carry a charge. This is just... Uh, essentially making contact with all the contacts within the battery compartment. That way it can and maintain power. 
Uh, that language, I do not know. Doesn't even look like Spanish. I don't know what that is. Anyway, that's uh, basically the gist of it. So, lovely instructions. And then on the last bit, you get the adapter. So, on the inside where it shows all the specs, it does say output 4.5 volts DC. DC being the line and the dots underneath it. That's the symbol. Um, and then looking at this, the piece here, the outer ring is negative. The inside is positive, just in case anyone is interested in that stuff, you know. So, um, essentially what you do is take this, plug this into it, fill your compartment with this one and then the other ones, and then you should be good to go. In my situation, that doesn't work. So, the product works. The situation just, it, it doesn't work. So, uh, we are going to take those. Everybody hurts. Let's toss those. We're going to get rid of that because I don't need that. That, that. I might need that. Yeah, that might come in handy. There we go. Next piece. So what I actually need is out of this, I just need the AA batteries. I do not need that power adapter because that would be a six volt adapter. And me using that on this statue would potentially overpower the diodes and whatnot inside the statue itself and burn out the components. So that's where the uh, a lot of the negative reviews come from is uh, people are buying say a four pack or even potentially larger i don't know if they make a larger one but a four pack and using this adapter and putting only three in here and you when you're using a six volt adapter with those three batteries the batteries don't do anything it's just making the contact bridging the gaps essentially uh the adapter is what is the important part it, this device is three batteries each battery is 1.5 volts, so you're looking at 4.5 volts. This adapter in here is 6 volts, so if you're providing 6 volts to a 4.5 device, you might screw it up. So, uh, that's why we are not going to do that. So, I'm just going to hop this open. I do need that. Don't need that. I need those. Two of those. I don't need that one. For that that's the six volt okay that's all we need so um i do have here a brand new pack of double a batteries very generic i've never even heard of h cell i don't even know what i got those with so i'm just going to go through and take my handy dandy mm 500 multimeter by klein tools uh, it's a very simplistic Multimeter. It does a lot of the work for you, I guess. Uh, we're just going to actually take one of these. Um, we're going to put the positive, positive, negative, negative. So. And based on the readings, this is 1.6 volts brand new out of the box. Essentially out of the box. It's out of a wrapper. So, 1.6 volts. Um... When we're actually using this device here, I'm going to pop you over to this other side here. Okay. We will plug this in. Plug in our adapter. And I will test this out. So, since this adapter is actually providing the full power through this one battery contact, essentially, uh, I should be looking at about 4.5 volts. So it is 4.5 volts exactly. Uh, not over, not under at all. So that is very good. Um, that means by using this device with this compatible device, I should have no performance issues whatsoever lighting this. Um, 
Now, say, if you end up getting a surge of some sort, ee, you might blow that. But, um, other than that, you should be good. So, we will take this. I'm going to pop this dude's head off. Put it down there. We're going to take this. Flip it. Real good. And we are just going to pop this into positive. I just have it set up for the bottom. You can probably put in any single one of them. <clears throat> and now we've got it all plugged in. Um, after the words, you would then, since the ribbon cable is so thin, I've actually have it bent right there now. And we can pop this on. I will say another complaint of mine. Uh, this statue's battery cover was extremely brittle. So I end up fabricating one that you screw in. Um, that way you don't have to worry about it anymore. So it's all in there. Ribbon cable is perfectly seated well. No issues. Um, light that bad boy up. Boom! We got power. So, as you can see, it's well lit. And same thing here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I would say, uh, as far as the product goes itself, uh, the Lenick Battery Eliminator, uh, it works great. It uh, matches exactly the volts of uh, three batteries, uh, 4.5 DC volts. Um, have had any issues with it. I've actually had this thing lit up and stayed on for about three days before I shut manually shut it off and haven't had any issues with it. When I did have batteries, just regular batteries in this statue, I believe the statue only lasted about maybe two days. So I would recommend if you plan on showing this off quite a bit to your friends, uh, I would spend, heck, freaking 15 bucks on a uh, Lennox battery eliminator. So it's uh, definitely well worth it, especially if you have other devices around the house that'll do it. Uh, the only thing I can't stress more is when you're purchasing a Lennox power adapter or battery eliminator, make sure you're getting the appropriate size. If your device takes three batteries, get the three pack. Uh, if it's a two pack or it takes two batteries, get the two. Um, just because the adapter itself matches exactly what you need for that device. In my situation, there wasn't a black version available. There was just white. So I went ahead and purchased the four pack AA battery eliminator along with the three pack AAA eliminator. That way I could at least mix the components and get what I needed out of it, um, which still leaves me with some stuff I could use down the road. So um, I'd say great product, very simple, easy to do, and shouldn't harm your device. So uh, definitely give it a thumbs up. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe down below and uh, leave me a comment. Feel free to do that. Uh, critique me, do whatever the heck you want to. Bash me. Do, yeah number of things. So uh, I'll leave it at that and you guys have a wonderful day.